So what's going to happen to the thousands of people that were paroled legally to the United States under the Biden administration parole program from Haiti, Cuba, Nicaragua, Venezuela, and even the U for You Ukrainian program? Well, honestly, nobody can tell you what will happen after the two years is up. This is going to be a political issue, depending on the change in administration. We can presume that if the party changes to a Republican party, they're probably going to try to get rid of the program. If the Democratic Party stays in power, they're probably going to extend it. I can tell you, though, if you're Cuban and you come on the parole program and you wait one year and one day under the Cuban Adjustment Act, you can apply for your lawful permanent resident status, but everybody else is either going to have to find their own path through employment or family-based sponsorship to continue to stay in the United States, or they can even apply for the asylum within one year of entry.